Hey everybody, welcome back to MDW316 channel. This is Muddy Waters, as always, coming at you. Hey, uh, said this was going to happen eventually, and finally, it was in stock. And finally, the package came in. Right here, I'll show you this side. I don't want to I'll show you this side here. I'm not got my name. We can see that it came from Outlaw. Right there. Outlaw, Deer Park, New York. Okay, now, as you can see, there's two in here. So, there's a surprise. And, oh, look at that. They put these little fancy, easy chair. We don't do that. We don't do that. We take our handy dandy little old timer pocket knife. And it's gonna. Oh, hey, it did. First try. Nailed it. Anyway, so told you a while back when we were doing the uh, the yeah, pineapple, the uh, yellow blend, and uh, and all the other reformulated brands that Allah came out with, and we said we we're gonna probably give it a shot, and here it is. It's the lucky lipa. It's. Just past St. Patrick's Day, so you know, almost in time, but not quite. And we got a surprise. Now, when it came out, I didn't think it was going to do it. When it came out, I said I didn't think I was going to do it, but <clears throat> there it is the Ramblin' Root Beer. Why don't I have good light right there? Focus. Focus. Rambling root there. It's a little hard to see. I don't have a good light right there on the camera. Anyways. So that's it. We got the Lucky Lippa and the Rambling root beer. This one did over there. Sorry if I look over this way, that's where the screen is. I can see what's going on if I'm lining up properly. So anyways, yeah, we're going to do these two guys. That little pause was in case, of, you know, the, you know, when you go to upload the video on YouTube, it randomly picks scenes that they think that could be a thumbnail. So hopefully that's one of them. Okay, and of course, my joke of the day. Majug, Majug.com, Chris Petun to the moon is the Lone Star State, as always. Like I said, I do have some others laying around, but um, they're downstairs and I always forget to bring them up. So. Anyways, as you can see, this hasn't been cracked open yet. But crack this, I'm busy kiss the feet. Oh, man, shouldn't have trimmed my nails last night. I mean, shouldn't have chewed my nails off. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Alright. Cracked open. Hmm. Oh, wow. Anyway, this is the first time I've tried Lucky Lipper since way back when it came out. And it had that tobacco in it still. And, um, yeah, to me it had like a, uh, like a not not like a pine salt flavor, but like some sort of cleaning supply, you know, spray. Just had that aroma and flavor. It didn't didn't taste good. Not to me anyways, not to me. Um this has a really strong lemon lime flavor. about five six of those all right um yeah like i said i haven't tried lucky lipper since um since way back like when it first came out let's get us a nice little, little packed in there again a nice dark color oh what the what the what the, what the, what the, what the? Spilling all over the place. What am I doing that for? 
Mm. Okay. Got a little stem in there. That's all right. And clean up our mess. Hmm. Let's give us a little killer filler. Okay. There's that. Oh, let me see if we can prop it up. In. No, that won't work. Take the old leather in here. Prop that up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Good. I'm becoming a YouTuber. Using your own noggin. I must say, right away, that stuff juiced up fast. And, yeah, much, um, much, much more enjoyable flavor than before. Much more enjoyable. I really like that. That's not bad. That's not bad. Could it be mine? Sorry, I, I use coasters for everything. I, you know, I don't like have to clean up. See, if I use a coaster, coaster gets dirty. You just throw it out. But anyway, back to the top get hang. Back to the matter at hand. What was that song? Back to the matter at hand. Is that an easy song? God. Anyway. It's... To me, the Lucky Lipper is a thousand times better than it was before. No, not not just saying that so Outlaw will see this and be like, oh, dude, you know, you're awesome. Thank you. No, I don't care about that. I don't care. Um, but yeah, this, um, this Lucky Lipper really good it's got i can taste the lime i can taste lime i don't get much lemon not like in the southern sweet tea where you get that hint of lemon i don't get that here i do get mostly lime a lot of lime so yeah i give it I mean, uh, what did I tell you? You had one job, one job to do, and you didn't do it. Come on now. But, like I said, you know, got that stem right in, in, in the first pinch, which is understandable. Gonna have those. Um, moistness factor, you know, it sticks to your finger. Love, I love this wide cut. I can't say it enough times. I love this wide cut. I wish all brands would use go to a wide cup rather than a long cup. Um, just because I think it has so much better qualities. Um, yeah, so that's a lucky look. How did I get that to stay before? And just when I thought I was becoming a real YouTuber, you know, I was making props, I was setting stuff up just right. Look what happens. All right. I really like it. Um, like I said, would it become my everyday, my daily dip? I doubt it. Um, I, I doubt it because it's just one of those flavors that um, you got to be in the mood for. Now, would I do this dip? Um, every day, maybe once a day, sure, might do a quick little one for, you know, maybe an hour or so. Um, my current dailies, uh, have been, well, be, mainly the thing that determines everybody's dailies right now is how much they have in stock. 
And I understand that a lot of getting a new machine to help pack and and distribute the dip. He's got the dip. It's just getting it into the cans. Um, so I kind of go with what they got. And right now I got the wild watermelon. Um, I also had some yellow bun for a while. I just made another order. I was able to get some Southern Sweet Tea, finally. I love Southern Sweet Tea. Since they redid it, and it doesn't have tobacco in it, I just love the Southern Sweet Tea. That is my number one dip that Outlaw has right now, is Southern Sweet Tea. But I haven't had any of it in probably a good couple months, just because it's been out of stock. It's hard to get. And, and of course, got to have winter beans. So I'll go with the Stokers. Um, go to Stoker's Wintergreen because Outlaw hasn't come out with Wintergreen yet. So I'm waiting for that, but I'm sure that's in the works. I'm sure he's knowing Outlaw, well, not knowing Outlaw, but, you know, knowing him from YouTube, um, I'm sure he's going to have a, a Wintergreen because Wintergreen's always been his go-to for years, so. Yeah, that Lucky Leopard. So much better. So much better. I, really, I like that. It might. I I like to refrigerate mine. Oh, you know, during the night. Obviously, when I'm not dipping it, I like to put it in the fridge, keep it cool. Uh, here in my office, um, it's cooler. So at nighttime, it can stay in here. Even out in the shop, I got I got a refrigerator out there. So any dip I have out there stays in the fridge. And to me, the edge, it makes it a better, it makes the flavor better. It keeps it fresher longer also, but it makes the flavor just pop a little more to me. When form, eh, it, it can throw the taste off a little, in my opinion, my opinion. Um, you can think, you know, however you like to do it, it's up to you completely. But I usually have... I usually have a rotation of three to four different types of dips. Um, Wintergreen, usually my go-to, a couple of dips a day. Wild watermelon, one to two. Um, if I got the yellow, maybe throw one them in a day. I got Lucky Leopard, I'll probably throw one them in. And we got the Rambling Root Beer. We'll see how that is in a minute. And, you know, go from there. So. Right now I'll have I'll have four four in rotation. So. All right, get rid of this guy. Sticks all the way to the end. All right, remember my jug. Find a little knob. Two thumbs pop. Tip it over, tip, drop your dip in, pop it back on, clear our mouth out. All right, on to the next one. Like I said this is the Rambling Root Beer. I know, I know, I know. why won't you run up? Like a dip on my dip. Okay, uncracked. Alright, this one should be interesting because when he came out with it, I was like, no way. I didn't like the idea. Dip all over my thing. Um, I didn't like the idea just because I thought it would be too weird. But, ooh, I can smell it already. Wow. Wow. You know those little root beer candies? The little root beer. Blah, 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 blah. Don't you hate that? When your your mouth is talking too fast for your lips. Um, you know those little root beer barrels? You get the hard candies? 100% smells like that. Not, not even kidding. Almost has a hint of like um, pipe tobacco. I know there's no tobacco in it, 
but you know, like that pipe tobacco's got that distinct scent. Um, almost had a hint of that, but those root beer barrels for sure. All right, Let's give her a try. Oh, nice and packed. It does. Has like that. Oh, see another stem. Okay, that time wasn't too bad. It was softer. Didn't seem to juice up as fast as the Lucky Liquor, but that's probably just me. Like I said previously, a uh, couple medications I take, I guess, cause dry mouth and this helps. This helps. Um, and now that's tobacco free. It's just whatever leaf with, you know, the nicotine, whatnot in it, that makes it a lot better. But um, this really helps dry mouth. I mean, you can go out and buy. They got gums. They got sprays. But they they only last for a short time. They don't last forever. No, not forever, but nothing lasts forever, I guess, but, you know, you know what I mean. No. Gotta get this done. No, well, maybe not. We got her. We got her in there. It kept poking me up in the cheeks, but kind of bent over. Um, not bad, not bad. Um, I think like Outlaw said, this dip would have to be an everyday for the right person. Um, for me, probably not every day, maybe once in a while. Excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, so not bad, not bad. Does it tastes like the root beer barrel? It really does. Um, juice up nice, nice dark spit. Yeah, not bad, not bad. You know, would I do it every day like I said? Probably not. Um. It'd be one of those have to be in the mood for. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe once a day a small pinch, but, um, yeah, not bad. Not bad, though. Good flavor. Good flavor. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, the dips haven't changed, I don't believe, themselves. Uh, the... Obviously, the new flavor, and like I said, I I tried the the Lucky Lipper because I didn't like it before, and with no tobacco in it, I try it now. So we did that. Great flavor on that now. Great flavor. Really like it. The root beer could um, probably take it or leave it. Um, wouldn't matter much to me, but um, yeah, not bad though, not bad, good flavor, good flavor. So yeah, I guess that's it. Um, and with everything going on out there, um, this time, this day and age, um, yeah, just be careful out there. Wash your hands, like they say. Um. Listen to what the, the experts are telling you. Try to keep your distance. Don't get in big groups of people. 
It's hard. It's hard. It's, um, and, and please, there's no, everybody keeps saying, there's no reason to go out and buy five packages, you know, five packages of toilet paper. There's no need. It's not going to be that bad. Unless you're quarantined to your house for 14 days. Um, but in all reality, you're not going to go through that much. So keep it real out there. Stay safe. And we'll, as we say on the channel, see you when we see you. Don't want to be you.